Hey, hey, fourth grade. Today we're starting with Alabama, Our Beautiful Home, Chapter 12, Working Towards Full Civil Rights, the Civil Right Movement. We've got three sections. Section one, the struggle for equality. Section two, progress overcomes violence. Section three, voting rights and the road to real change. Section one, our EQ, the struggle for equality. How did the rights of education expand during the civil rights movement? Our vocabulary words that we need to know, facility, NAACP, discriminate, prejudice, deliberate, boycott, nonviolent, sit-in. Separate but equal. The Constitution states that everyone has the same rights. However, many white people in Alabama found this hard to accept. A, su a Supreme Court case in 1896 said that it was legal for blacks and whites to have separate facilities as long as they were equal. In Alabama, black people could not go to the same restaurants or schools as whites. They sat in different parts of buses, theaters, ballparks, etc. Jim Crow laws were used to segregate blacks and whites. Usually, the facilities were not equal. Civil Rights Organizations Education for Black Alabamians African American leaders realized that they could accomplish more if they worked together. Booker T. Washington realized that blacks should educate themselves to be successful. He thought that whites would accept blacks who were educated, owned property, and were of good character. Civil Rights Organizations, the Niagara Movement. W.E.B. Du Bois led a group called the Niagara Movement. His group demanded full civil, full civil, social, and political rights for blacks. They vowed to protest against until their rights were granted. Civil Rights Organizations, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, also known as the NAACP. The NAACP grew from the Niagara Movement. The group works for the rights of black Americans. By the mid-1940s, there were 15,000 members in Alabama. As more black people moved to cities in the West and North, a movement for civil rights began. President Harry Truman, oh, taking a stand against discrimination. President Harry Truman issued orders making it illegal to discriminate discriminate against blacks who wanted a government job. Prejudice kept coming, kept some people from hiring black people. Truman also ordered an end to segregation in the military. Toward full civil rights, Brown versus the Board of Education. In 1952, the Supreme Court ruled, in this case, that separate but equal was not legal. The court ordered schools desegre desegregated with all deliberate speed. Justice Black from Alabama ruled in favor of integration. Integration happened slowly and there were often loud protests. Lucy Foster was a black woman famous for working to attend the University of Alabama. Rosa Parks, a black woman, became famous for working to remove discrimination from the public buses in Montgomery. In 1955, she was arrested for sitting in a seat that was for whites. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Ralph D. Abernathy led protests. They worked to boycott the buses. The protests lasted over a year, but in 1956, the Supreme Court said that segregation on buses was unconstitutional. Towards full civil rights. Success leads to more civil rights actions. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. increased his work for civil rights. He asked the people to practice nonviolent protests. People conducted boycotts and sit-ins at segregated restaurants and hotels.